So, I don't know if it's just me, but it just occurred to me that today is day 9 of the Bibi and Zamzi season 3 housemates being in the mansion and so far there's been no love stories yet. There's been no, you know, concrete relationship happening. There's been no, like, serious cuddle bodies. There's been no serious first kiss. All those lovely romantic stuff, guys. There's been no first, first, first. And I'm asking myself, like, okay, are these set of housemates completely zeroing out the prospect of finding true love, you know, from this season of the show? Like, what you guys think? Go ahead and let me know in the comment section below as we get into the actual crux of the matter of this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. Yeah, hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah, and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the T. Now, aside the conversation of um, no genuine love stories brewing in the Bibi and Zamzi mansion just yet. Guys, today has been a pretty much busy day for the housemates as they had a very, very busy morning and afternoon working on their Johnny Walker task. Now, for the record, I think it will interest you to know that this particular task is pretty much similar to what the lockdown housemates from the Big Brother Niger season 5 have actually done before. Now, theirs was more, um, should I say, elevated? Yes, because um, they were divided into, I think, three groups or four groups, and um, they were given outfits, uniforms, um, team uniforms to identify them according to their groups. Now, besides the painting of the Johnny Walker striking man, they were also given drinks and I don't know, should I call it combinations to basically create their own Johnny Walker kind of cocktail? And they did really great. And surprisingly, the housemates that I won that task had been rewarded with um, a cash prize and also a trip to Ireland. Yes. So um, I think that trip specifically was to visit the home of the owner or the founder of the brand Johnny Walker. Guys, I can't really remember, but I do remember that we had V, Lecon, and Nengi, I think, in that particular group. Yes. So um, it was quite a very, very exciting one. It was very, very interesting as those housemates brought their A game. Guys, it was no easy task. The competition was stiff, but then V's presentation of their concept totally, totally made them stand out. Now, coming back to the BB and Zamzi's own Johnny Walker South Africa task, they were given certain instructions by Big Brother on how to execute the task. So first off, via a lucky deep selection process, the housemates had been instructed to create two teams, yeah? So we had Team Black and Team Grey. Now, um, before before I get into the makeup of the teams, um, the instructions read as follows. They had two Johnny Walker striding men, all painted white, just basically white as a mannequin. And then they were to develop the theme, keep walking. They were to write out their concepts and also explain what the theme, keeps walking, means to them. Um, also, they were to paint the striding man according to their concept. Whatever they paint the striding man has to represent what the theme means to them. Also. So to crown it all up, they were to do a presentation to explain their concept. And so the members of Team Black were BU, Terry, Sister Mara, Zeno, Venus, Libu, Mpo, Yoli, Gashwan, and Temba, of course. And then the members of Team Grey were Tools, Acacia, Dinky, Norma, Nale, Tato, Ntabi, Viner, and Mvelo. So guys, these housemates, to be very frank with you, they had a great time. And this is the very first time since the show started last week that I have witnessed these housemates working together in unity. Like this is the first time that every single person is bringing an idea and the rest of the housemates are respecting that person's idea. Nobody was trying to elevate themselves more than the, their fellow team members. I mean, every single person had something to contribute. They worked with so much concentration as though they really needed to win that particular task. And guys, I could not blame them because of course, <laughs> once between 
100 times shy honestly that's my own way of putting it because of course them losing their last week's major task guys i felt like that was a huge eye opener you know because of course big brother had been really really too kind um by giving them the reasons why they had lost their wager task they have come to terms with the fact that listen this is a, a competition after all and even though everybody here is playing their game as an individual there are going to be times when we have to actually play the game as a team or as a group and we totally need to find one voice we totally need to find um that space where we can all come together and work together in unity and guys that was exactly what each team did for the johnny walker task although the outcome of their workings <laughs> it was totally different but i don't know guys from the pictures you're seeing right now let me know which one you love the most i wouldn't want to put a name to which team actually created um the paintings that you're seeing on the johnny walker's trident man but let me know which of the paintings you love the most which one you find more creative aside the painting guys aside the painting the presentation was almost Almost a flop for Team Grey because um, I think they did not know that it was the captain of each of the groups that was going to do the presentation and so um, whilst Team Black was busy writing out their points explaining their concepts and rehearsing it Team Grey probably had someone else writing out the concepts and every other thing and someone else entirely different was going to do the presentation but then it was too late by the time they realized that no it was actually the captain that was going to do the presentation and so and tabby for team gray was supposed to do the presentation and she had mentioned it during her diary session yesterday to big brother that she does not have the art in her of for public speaking yeah that sometimes it's a struggle for her to address people and it's something that she came into the house fully ready to work on and and so guys it was a huge struggle for her when she was you know doing the presentation she kept on flopping she kept on making a lot of mistakes she kept on dabbling with the scripts that she had in her hands it was a huge struggle guys but then she still passed on the message and then for team black terry's team terry represented a team 100 percent like guys she gave out the explanation 100 and right at this point i am totally looking forward to hearing biggie's verdict on who the winner of the johnny walker task will emerge now going back to the paintings guys as i said i would not want to mention which team painted any of the johnny walker's trading man but um what i'll just explain is that one team went ahead to paint the color of the south african flag yes and also infuse the diversity of south africa on it and then another theme decided to display the diversity of the um of the consumers market of um, johnny walker because of course according to them there is a misconception that it is only guys or the men gender the male gender pardon me the male gender that is more likely to consume johnny walker but then they are trying to pass on the message that any gender is able to consume johnny walker and so from the paintings as represented by each of the teams inclusive of their presentation there was just one message that i personally could pick there was a message of acceptance and inclusivity one group is talking about inclusivity of the lgbtq community while the other team is also talking about inclusivity of both genders in enjoying and experiencing johnny walker as a brand if there's any other thing you learned guys from their presentation just go ahead and let us know in the comment section below and my question for this video still remains of everything about that task which team do you think deserves to win the Johnny Walker task? Is it um, Team Black or Team Grey? I look forward to seeing your thoughts in the comment section below as I end this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah. I will see you guys on another video. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.